what are the virtues of the day of Eid al Adha? When the Prophet ﷺ came to Medina, he found that they had two days on which they used to play. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you two days better than these, the day of Eid al-Fitr and the day of Eid al-Azha. Narrated by Abu Dawood, hadith number 1134. Class is Sahih by Sheikh Albani Rahimullah in his Silsilah Sahih hadith number 2021. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given his ummah two days for playing and leisure and two days for remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thanking him and asking him for forgiveness. In this world, the believers have three festivals or Eids. One Eid which is repeated every week and two Eids which comes once a year. The Eid which is repeated every week is Friday Juma. The Eids which are not repeated which come only once every year are first Eid al-Fitr the breaking of the Ramadan fast, this comes upon the completion of the month of Ramadan which is the third pillar of Islam. When Muslims have finished fasting, the month that is enjoined upon them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed that they should follow the completion of their fast with a festival on which they gather to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remember Him and glorify Him for His guidance. On that, Eid is prescribed for them to pray and give charity. Second Eid al -Azha, the Feast of Sacrifice, which is the 10th day of the month of Zul Hijjah. This is the greater and better of two feasts, which comes after the completion of the Hajj. For when the Muslims complete their Hajj, they are forgiven. Rather, Hajj is completed on the day of Arafah, the 9th day of Zul Hijjah, with the standing in the Arafah, which is the major pillar of Hajj. As Prophet ﷺ said, Hajj is Arafah, narrated by Tirmizi Hadith number 880. Nine. And class is Sahih by Sheikh Alwani Rahimullah in his book Irwal Ghalil, Hadith number 1064. The day of Arafah is the day of ransom from the fire. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ransoms from hellfire those who stood at Arafah and Muslims who did not stand at Arafah. Hence the day that follows it is a festival for all Muslims in all regions. Those who attended Hajj and those who did not. It is prescribed for all of them to draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by means of a ritual of shedding the sacrificial blood. The virtues of this day may be summed up as follows. These are the best days before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Khayyim rahimullah said in Zad al -Mad, the best days before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the day of sacrifice, which is the greatest day of the Hajj. As it says in Sunan Abi Dawood, Hadith number 1764, where it is narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, the greatest of the days before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the day of sacrifice. Class is Sahih by Shaykh Almani in Sahih Abu Dawood. It is the greatest day of Hajj. It was narrated that the Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa stood between the Jamarat on the day of sacrifice during his Hajj and said this is the greatest day of Hajj narrated by Bukhari hadith number 1764. That is because the greatest actions of the Hajj takes place on this day when the pilgrims do the following. Number one, storing Jamarat al khaba Number two, offering the sacrifice. Number three, shaving the head or cutting the nail. Number four, tawaf of the Kaaba. Number five, sai, running between Al Safa and Al Marwa. It is the Eid day for the Muslims. The Prophet said, The day of Arafah, the day of sacrifice, and the days of Al Tashriq are our festival. And they are the day of eating and drinking. Narrated by Tirmizi, Hadith number 773. Class is Sahih by Sheikh Albani Rahimullah in Sahih Tirmizi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. Jazakallah khair.